Well, hi folks, it's Aid Martin here again. I just got some feedback from my last antivirus uh, video and they're saying that some of my comments were untrue. So that, that's fair enough. I, I like discussion. But I thought it was necessary to do a little more testing and we'll find out some facts. Now, I am an avid tester. I rarely give opinions. The opinions mean nothing to me. As far as I'm concerned, something either works or it doesn't. But I do agree that, you know, we're all different. What works for you doesn't work for me, and vice versa. Now, the case in point was a reference to um, the Clamwin free antivirus. Now, I'm always looking for newer and better gadgets and tools, so this one had to go on test. So, uh, anyhow, so, yeah, so rather than test it on its own, I thought we'd benchmark it against Windows Defender, and we'll test an, a, another couple of programs, one called Super Anti-Spyware, and one called Trojan Hunter. So, let's get on with it. Okay, well here's a snapshot of the installation of a Clamwin. Well, the first thing I noticed was the errors. You know, this hasn't happened with any of the other products on test, and for me it's always the start of that what else is wrong feeling, you know? It doesn't fill you with confidence. Now this next screenshot is at the completion of the scan. You can notice there's more I can't do messages. Now, as you can see, it returned a zero result for infections, and I know that there were some issues that need attending to. Normally, that in itself would be enough for me not to use Clamwin again, but the scan, it took over 10 hours to complete. It took up a whole load of system resources, which of course just limits you in how much work you can do. It's pretty mind-numbing having to endure this from 2 in the afternoon until sometime after midnight. But, come on, let's not forget, this is a free open source program, and I am not ridiculing Clamwin in any way at all. I have a lot of time for these open source boys and girls. They bring some great stuff, and they work a ton of hours. But Clamwin, for me, it just isn't right. Okay, now here's the scan results for Super Anti-Spyware. Uh, picked up on seven issues. As you can see, one of them is a Trojan, and there's a few other bits and pieces. Well, the next program is Trojan Hunter, but certainly it's, it has a great sales page and even gives us a trial download. Ooh, whoopee! Now the problem is you're not allowed to update the spyware definitions unless you actually purchase the full product. Now, I'm not sure that I understand the point in providing an out-of-date program which can't possibly be given a full test to see if it's any good or not. So as I can't download the latest definitions, I'll have to scrub around this one. Now here we've got AVG anti-spyware. I just picked up on one downloader. That's a good catch, that. Have you noticed that frustrating thing about all these programs? And we've tested about eight in it over the last two videos. But none of them find the same infections consistently. They, they all have a mind of their own. Perhaps they're all infected. A nice thing about uh, AVG it's the fact that when you highlight an infection, the information is clearly displayed and it's got its location there as well. Um, a lot of these programs, they do tend to leave you guessing um, what is it and where is it, you know? And finally, we come back to Windows Defender, um, which, as you can see, picked up four infections. Now, well, that's it really for this lot, guys. Now, I would be really interested to know if anybody has positive reports on Clamwin antivirus. I know the gentleman who left a comment on the blog thinks it's wonderful, uh, but I'd like, to, I'd like to hear it from other people. So, thanks a lot, and this is Aid Martin saying bye for now.